Good morning, everybody. This is Jeffrey Jansen. This is Friday Motivation. Hope everybody's having a great day today. I'm actually coming to you live from beautiful Columbus, Ohio. I'm actually heading over to the Columbus Convention Center right now. I am here to improve myself, to be able to improve my teams, and to help protect people a whole lot better. So what is it that you're doing today and this weekend to improve your life, to do things that are worthwhile for you and your family? What are things that you're doing? Now, what I want everybody to do is remember our hearts go out to everybody in Texas, Louisiana, our Harvey. Our hearts are going to go out to everybody in Florida and on the East Coast and in the, on the islands for Hurricane Irma. And then soon there's another one coming up right behind it. And also everybody in Mexico that is suffering through the 8.5 magnitude earthquake that happened last night. So we want to make sure that we keep all those people in our hearts and prayers because, you know, you know, tragedy is tragedy any way you look at it. It doesn't matter where you're from, who you know, what you do. When tragedy strikes, it happens to all of us. You know, a lot of us from where I'm from, we dealt with, you know, the flood back in uh, 1998, you know, and we thought that was bad. Well, the rest of the United States gets hit hard. There's parts of the United States right now that are getting really, really hard with fires and everything. So we want to make sure that we keep all those people in our hearts and our prayers because let's face it, nobody wants to have to go through what these people are going through and a lot of them don't have the money to get out and they have to stay there yet they're urging everybody to get out i mean this is this is hurricane season we're used to this so you know but it's still no it's not an excuse for not keeping people in your thoughts and prayers to make sure nothing bad happens to them all right next thing i want to start getting back into books and everything again because to me it's very very important that everybody read 11 pages of a really good book and I'm gonna start reading again, not today. Um, I read on my own, but I'm gonna start reading books again, a chapter a day, so that you have something to listen to in order to improve your life. Now, a lot of people I know, they're truck drivers, they're farmers, they are blue collar factory workers, they're people that are the heartbeat of America, that are making this country run smoothly and everything else, and for that we are grateful and thankful. However, even those people live in a world uh, where they're familiar with everything and they don't like to venture outside the box. Now, just because their world is different doesn't mean that they are trapped within the frame of ordinary. So what I always tell people to do is venture out. Take a couple different roads when you're going home. You know, if you're going through a town and there's like historic value or monuments, so go and take some pictures, you know. Enjoy what we have today because, you know, you never know if it's going to be gone tomorrow. You never know if a natural disaster is going to take it out, if politics are going to take it out. But, you know, make sure you get and you see the world. Don't just drive idly by on the highways of life. You know, sometimes you need to take the back roads. And the reason why I encourage everybody to read books is because I know in high school people hate to read. But now you get, your, you get to choose. You get to pick and choose what you read, what you do. And I always encourage people to read, you know, motivating self-help books, you know, because you have to be able to do different things throughout life. Sorry, I'm actually on the highways over in Ohio right now and I'm making sure I can get to where I need to go. But as you're reading and you're improving your life, this time, remember, you're not in high school anymore. You're not doing it for a grade. The reason why you're reading now is to have a better future for yourself and your family and those around you. So when you're reading the book, like from Brian Cruthers, Money Mindset, you're learning how to uh, to handle money. You're learning where to put your money, you know, how to save your money, you know, what to invest your money and what not to do. When you're reading Building an Empire by Brian Cruthers, you know, you're learning how to network yourself. You're learning how to do things that others don't want to do in order to have a better life for yourself, a better life for your family. When you're reading How to Win Friends and Influence People and you're reading there by 
uh, you're you're sitting there learning how to talk with people how if you give them just enough what they want maybe you could have a social conversation an intellectual conversation that doesn't revolve around politics all the time or revolve around you know all the negativities that the news and everybody wants you to have you know get off your <laughs> this is going to be hypocritical i know get off your social media and stuff and you know do what it is you have to do in order to uh, survive in life you know and reading 11 good pages of a book every single day is one of those ways it's one of the ways of taking care of yourself taking care of your friends and family uh, how to win friends influence people I'd start there you know eat that frog you know there's another good book uh, you know failing forward that's another great book you know, all these are good books that people read all the time, and you want to make sure that you are always in the know right now. Man, there's a lot of construction around here right now. Sorry. I wasn't expecting all the construction. But, you know, I, I just want you to understand that if you're reading and you're keeping ahead, you know, that one chapter may be the difference between you getting a raise and you getting a promotion or you finding that sale or you finding it in yourself to do better for yourself you know that's kind of what it's all about Oops. and uh, once you do that you know it works out best for you plus do it for your kids if your kids see you reading they're gonna want to read more you know you have to do things that maybe you didn't like at one time but you need to convince yourself to work harder work stronger work better work faster whatever it takes so anyway i gotta get parking i hope everybody has a great day god bless everybody i want you all to know that each one of you matters and everything in life you know is worthwhile if you know what to do i guess people are backing up i guess you can also look at me as a comedy show too because i do two things at once so, anyway, my name's Jeffrey Jansen. I am getting ready to go in and seeing my extended family, which is my Legal Shield family, and I hope you all have a blessed day.